Hello YouTube, this is Calandra coming at you with another vlog. First of all, when I first started vlogging, I asked many of my Facebook friends, my church family, to give me some ideas about things that I could talk about in my vlog. One of the teens at our church said, I want you to talk about teen pregnancy and premarital sex. That was a pretty tall order. And a few days ago on my last update blog, I promised my YouTube family that I would do my next vlog on teen pregnancy and premarital sex um, and that I would do it within the next five days. Well, I am proud to say that I am within my five day limit. The second thing that I want to say is I am a Christian, so I subscribe to biblical principles and in terms of not even just teens and sex, in terms of sex, there's no, um, or sex should be only within the context of marriage. So I can't stray or deviate from that. But also at the same time, understanding that everyone who's listening to me right now is not a Christian or may not believe in the Bible, so I can't force that upon you. However, what I would like to do is also give you another way of thinking about teens, pregnancy, and premarital sex. First of all, I think that what's important for our young people to understand, and, and also let me know who the, let me let you know who I intend this audience to be for. This is for teens. This is for parents of teens, godparents, aunts, uncles. If you know teens, if you work with teens, if you have teens in your family, your community, your church, I would hope that you would be able to share some of this with them as well. So back to the uh, matter at hand. I think that what's important for you as teenagers is to understand yourself. Because if you understand yourself and if you love yourself, then you will do anything you can to protect yourself. And I'm not just talking about um, protection in the sense of condoms and all those other things. I'm talking about protecting the gift that you have. What we need to do as women, as young men, is to look at our virginity, to look at our bodies, to look at our entire package of who we are as a gift and a treasure. If you have something that's really important to you that you love, you don't treat it any kind of way. You take care of it, you nurture it, and you don't put it in anyone else's hands unless it's somebody that you know you can trust. And even then, it's got to be somebody that you know for sure, for sure, without a doubt, that you can trust. So if you look at your body as a gift and a treasure, why would you choose to share that with someone? I don't care how much they tell you they love you or how much you love them. Why would you share that with someone that you don't have a true permanent covenant commitment with, like the commitment of marriage? What you also have to understand is that when you have sex with someone, it's not just an act. It's not just something that you do and then you walk away. It's something that's in your mind. It's giving your mind to someone. It's sharing your body and it's sharing your soul with someone. It's something that once you give away, you can never get it back. And I think that we need to stop for a minute sometimes and think about those things. When you love yourself and when you understand how important you are and how much you are worth, whether you be a young lady or a young man, then what we need to do is concentrate on those things so that when you're in a situation that may become a little escalated, if you know what I mean, you may not be putting yourself in a position at risk where you cannot make a decision um, right then and there that's a wise decision. And I think that's what happens is a lot of us, a lot of our teens rather, because I'm far from being a teen, a lot of our teens get caught up in the moment. So what I'm asking you as teenagers, as parents of teens and those who know, who know teens, get to understand yourself. Use these times to have fun, hang out with your friends, have a boyfriend, have a girlfriend, do all those things. There's nothing wrong with that. But spend your time getting to know you, getting to love you, getting to understand yourself. Start putting together your plan of action for what you want in life.
because what can happen is that if you get caught up in a moment that may end up in pregnancy, that may end up in a, in, in a health issue, a health scare, some kind of um, problem that's not easily fixed, then your whole plans for your whole future can derail. Now granted, there are a lot of young ladies out there and young men who have had children as teenagers or out of wedlock who are doing just fine. But sometimes I think they're the exception rather than the rule. So why not keep yourself out of that situation if you can avoid it? Think about your future. Think about all the things that you would like to do. And then I also want you to take time to consider what really makes you, you. I think that one of the problems that we have amongst our teens today is they have a, a some have a, a twisted and warped sense of who they are and what makes them up. Ladies and gentlemen, what makes you up, what makes you, you, is not what is inside your clothes. What makes you, you, is what's inside your mind and what's inside your heart. Those are the treasures that you need to hold on to as well. When you are sharing with another person who may be your boyfriend or your girlfriend, let them know the intellectual side of you. Let them understand what you're about. Show them what you want to do in life and what you want to be. Because if you can understand it and then share it with the next person, then they in turn will not pressure you into doing anything that could derail you from all those things that you are and from all those things that you want to do and all those things that you want to be. Know you. Be good to yourself. Because at the end of the day, you take care of you and you need to be responsible for yourselves. There is no one, and I mean no one, out here no matter how much they tell you they love you, no matter how much you love them, that can love you more than God loves you and, then that, and that you love yourself, more than you love yourself. So just try to remember all the things that make up you. Use this as a time to get to know who you are. Because if you don't love yourself, if you don't know and understand yourself, then no one else will. No one else can. And you cannot afford to have someone else telling you who you are or who you should be. If you get to know yourself, if you love yourself, understanding that your gift and your treasure of your body, your mind, and your soul belong to you and that are only, only, only should be dedicated to the person who will make a permanent covenant relationship with you, meaning put the ring on it and who is making a commitment to you that's permanent, then you can understand that that's something that you need to hold on to and not give to just anyone. Teens, enjoy your young years. Have fun. Be responsible. But just remember who you really are. And remember that you are a gift, that you are important, that you're special, and that you're loved. And just think about those things before you make a decision that can alter the rest of your life. I hope this was helpful. If you uh, please would rate, comment, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I may also be posting some of this on my blog, This and That with Calandra at blogspot.com. Please give me your comments. If I have enough comments, um, I may do another vlog that will kind of talk about some of the comments. I hope that this was helpful to you, and thank you so much for watching. Good night.